Definitely had to carve out some time to make sure it was all gone. Doppler radar shows that winter storm has made an exit. Still seeing some snow showers around Alamogordo, Holloman Air Force Base as we take you in a little bit tighter here along Highway 70. But again, no snow right now. That winter storm that rolled through also impacted Dallas, the Houston area, but it is now rolling through the deep south. Now we're unfortunately dealing with that cold, frigid air this morning. Could be worse though. Minus two is what it feels like. Dallas, Houston, and as we dive into our region, minus one, Rui so again, these are our feels like temperatures dropping a little further south. Waco tanks, eight degrees, Fabens, and around the lower valley, nine is what we are seeing. Horizon Boulevard as well. Vista del Sol east side sticking with the Pelicano area. We're at eight degrees as we travel to the west side of town around Coronado Hills, 12 degrees, Vinton, 13, and northeast El Paso. We're also seeing uh, around 10 degrees around the old Cohen Stadium there. Wind chill advisory will be in place until 9 o'clock. Again, you can see the snow showers in areas east and northeast are dealing with that wind chill uh, factor this morning. And again, that advisory, it's cold area wide. 14 is the air temperature, El Paso, 5 in Dallas, and also seeing teens in Houston. 11 degrees Albuquerque and minus 9 in Amarillo. So here's our future track computer model, which does show we have another cold front that's going to dive in here. Don't think we'll see any lowland snow. At least that's how things are looking now. We could see some snow around the area mountains. Of course, it's going to get cooler again and windy. We'll also have some additional moisture. We'll take the rainfall. We, re we desperately really do need it. Thursday's forecast, I think we're going to dry out and then we'll set the stage for lots of sunshine and warming temperatures this weekend. But the rest of the week, to be honest with you, is going to be cold. Future track model does show that rain rolling through on Tuesday by 11 o'clock on Wednesday and around lunchtime we're under partly cloudy skies. So this latest model not showing much rain Wednesday. I think we'll still see some light showers by Wednesday afternoon, but we'll dry out Thursday into Friday. So now we look at your morning planner. Please dress warm. The winds are not up, but wind chill will be bitterly uncomfortable. Bitter cold temperatures what we're waking up to. 7 o'clock, 12 degrees. 8 o'clock hour, we're at 16. And then by 9 o'clock, we're in the 20s. We'll run well below normal today, about 20 to 30 degrees below the average. 36 for Fort Bliss, 38 Socorro, Clint Fabens. We're also seeing 30s from Anthony, Canutillo, and Tornillo. So your President's Day will be very cold. First alert will remain in place this morning. We're going to warm up on Tuesday, still running below average and cold for the rest of the week. We'll be warming up this weekend.